everybody, John Van Dyke here from New Jersey Exposed. Today is Thursday, November 25th, 2021. Time is 1.03 p.m. Jersey Turkey time. Okay, we got another fine, upstanding, well-trained professional story for you right here in New Jersey. It's been a little busy here in New Jersey the past few weeks. This is reported on NJ.com, and it was dated November 3rd, 2021. And it reads as follows. Ex-cop sentenced for taking bribes to protect brothels, feds say. Wow, what a surprise. Another officer taking a bribe. Interesting story. Let's find out about it. He's protecting hookers. Let's see. A former Newark police... Oh, Newark. Well, that explains it. Newark's a toilet, toilet bowl, for those of you who don't know. It's a big, stinky toilet bowl. A former Newark police officer was sentenced Wednesday to nearly four years in prison for taking bribes to protect brothels from authorities and not reporting the payment payments on his personal federal tax returns. Fish, wow, they got him for tax evasion, too. Julio... Uh, Julio I. Rivera, 52 of Old Bridge, not too far from me, solicited and took cash payoffs from the unarmed, unnamed owner of Newark Brothels on Lafayette Street and Emmett Street from September 2014 to August 2015, according to the court documents. Why does it take so long for these things to get resolved? That's what I want to know. The former officer declined to arrest individuals involved in prostitution and agreed to protect them from being arrested by his police colleagues, according to filings in the case. Riviera also took adverse action against a competing brothel <laughs> and used police resources to search if a car belonged to law enforcement, an indictment said. Rivera, Rivera collected between $40,000 and $95,000 in bribes in New Jersey U.S. Attorney's Office said in a statement. Now, again, you're making hundred grand a year, and you're going to go take $40,000 or $95,000, and then you end up losing your $100,000 a year job and your pension, and uh, you lose your freedom. It's just not worth it. He also did not report payments as income. <laughs> leads to a loss to the internal revenue. So imagine that he took bribery money. So he's supposed to put that down on his tax return, uh, additional earn, earned income, uh, forty thousand uh, from uh, the brothels on Emmett Street. That's funny. Uh, he also now reports the payments as income, leading to a loss of uh, services of fifteen to forty thousand, according to the statement. Officials said Rivera, well, did they pay him cash or did they give him a check? I mean, see, here's probably one of his screw-ups is he took that money he put it in his bank account. So if you're going to take uh, forty to forty to $95,000 in bribery, you don't put it in the bank. You go down to uh, Home Depot or Staples and you buy yourself a nice safe and you put it in the safe. Uh, officials said Rivera previously pleaded guilty to charges of bribery and aiding assisting in the preparation of a false 2015 personal federal tax. He was initially charged in 2018 in a 14-count indictment. And that's all they say about that. I'll put the link in the description. You go read the story yourself if you want. Till next time.